Hi, welcome to the vlog. Um, before we start, I just wanted to uh, share a couple of things with you uh, about my experiences on this vlog. I went to the Peak District, as you'll see, and uh, on my way there, um, just the light, as what well, I got close, the light and the clouds and the mist and everything just looked absolutely amazing. And the location was absolutely amazing. I had a great time. I took loads of pictures. I was really pleased with you know how the vlog went. I was really pleased with um, the shots that I'd taken. And then I got home uh, and I put those into Lightroom and uh, I was really disappointed. Um, basically, what had happened is is that um, I was so overawed, I think, by the actual place and the conditions that I didn't focus on the real basics of, of photography. So in a lot of instances, um, the, the actual focus of the shot was out, so the foreground would be in focus, but because I didn't focus on a, on a specific point further back, the background was blown, um, or there would be, or not blown, you know, out of focus. Um, some of the compositions weren't great, um, just, just basic things really, and I just wanted to share that with you to say that, you know, when you get to somewhere that's, that's really breathtaking or you find it really breathtaking then you still need to focus on the basics of your photography otherwise you're gonna not get the most out of that location I mean I had a great time I, I enjoyed doing the vlog I enjoyed being out and about in in that you know those conditions it was a beautiful place um, the weather was lovely it was great to be up at that time in the morning to watch the sun come up but it was all tinged with a bit of disappointment and regret because of the way that I didn't actually concentrate on taking the shots properly. So that's just what I wanted to share with you. Just, just you know, bear that in mind when you go somewhere, just remember the basics. Don't get so excited about the opportunities that you forget to actually concentrate on what you're there for. Anyway, that was all I wanted to say briefly before we started. So I'm going to show you the vlog now and I hope you enjoy it. I got up this morning at two o'clock my missus looked at me with a an incredulous look because she was still up I'd gone to bed early she looked at me like I was mad she can't understand why I would want to get up at such an hour and drive two and a half hours to get to somewhere like this well now I think she's, well I think she's the mad one because look at this place. I've got it all to myself. It's a beautiful area. I'm in the Peak District. I'm at a place called Stanage Ridge, which is behind me. It's about 10 past five in the morning. The sun's due to come up at around about quarter to six. I'm heading up this hill. This actually looks quite a long way now. Uh, to try and get some sunrise shots. So I better get going, otherwise I'm gonna miss the sunrise. And uh, I'll check back in with you when I get to the top. So I'm not going to lie, that was a long way up. But when you do get up here, it's beautiful. What a view of the sunrise. <clears throat> what I've got to do now is find somewhere to set up, get a good composition before the sun comes up. Because I really want to get something over here, possibly, or I might actually aim over here. Uh, 
because when the sun comes up it's going to illuminate all these rocks so I might try something this way first something over here to get the sun you know reflecting onto those clouds lighting them up like they beautifully are there and then once the sun's come up I'll go this way and try and get the light cast onto some of these stones as they go up but I really need to find somewhere now so Whew. that was a long climb well it wasn't but I'm saying I'm fit I've got some beautiful heather here which will help with the shot but uh, I really need to find the composition before that sun comes up so I'll be back soon uh, so I think I got a shot as such uh, it was a bit of a rush to try and get it in because the, the sun was coming up and uh, I was just trying to find any composition really that would do which is a bit sad uh, but sat nav took me to the wrong place so there you go but anyway so I got the shot which is uh, this one here now you've got to bear in mind that the sun wasn't fully up at this point ignore where the camera's pointing because it's just swung around a little bit it's looking across here straight across to the sunrise hopefully I've got something nice but we'll see absolutely beautiful out here now it's absolutely beautiful yesterday the weather was atrocious but today's another day beautiful sun sunrise coming up this way and it's just starting to wash over these hills over the back here it's gorgeous honestly wow who wouldn't want to be up and out today in a place like this weather like this absolutely beautiful so um, because there's some really lovely mist hanging over, I don't know if you can see, but over there in that valley over there, there's some beautiful mist. <clears throat> so I've got the long lens on. I was trying to really capture that mist. Uh, see if I can show you on here. Can't really see, but if I just, uh, let me just, uh, I'll just boost it up for you so you can see a bit better. So I'm cap really trying to capture that mist over there. I'm bracketing the shot because I haven't put on uh, any of the ND grads. Um, I probably should. I just, I just, I think I'm a bit excited. I'm a bit excited by everything. So I'm rushing it and I know I shouldn't rush it, but I'm like, oh my God, there's a shot there. And there's a shot there and there's a shot there and I should really take my time a bit more, but I can't help it. Um, so yeah, so I've got the long lens on. I've taken a panorama across, sweeping panorama across the whole lot of these hills and I've also focused in on this one point right down there um, where there's a bit of mist hanging in the valley um, and I have gone in uh, quite tight on that. Hopefully that'll look really nice. <laughs> So I'm heading a bit further up the ridge now, uh, try and find these millstones uh, that I believe are at the top. I've seen another photographer up there, so I'm not alone. I hope he's having as good a time as I am because my God, it's beautiful up here. Uh, have I mentioned that? I think I have. So we'll head up now and uh, see if we can find these millstones and work some compositions around there. So I can't seem to find the millstones, but uh, before I head back, I, I really want to somehow make use of this amazing heather that's all around here. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous colours, like just the purple of it, it's just beautiful. So I've set up a little composition here, 
<coughs> which is going to look out across this valley. It's a nice shadow on the ridge um, and then there's some lovely sun and then the beautiful heather in the foreground with the rocks in the midground. It should look really good. It should, it should look really good. So literally, uh, I've just finished shooting that and I've just turned myself 90 degrees and there's another composition. This place is great. Um, I don't know if you can see it through there, but basically it's, uh, there's another ridge off in the distance that's covered in shadow. Uh, and then you've got the rocks that are, are framing it in the foreground. Uh, and then just the, uh, just the beautiful uh, backdrop beyond. Look at this. Literally walking right through my shot. Come on. They're taking the mick they are, honestly. Thank you. Some more. Yeah. You can go. Look at them, look. Seriously, you can go. Go on, please go. Please leave. I like you, but you know, I'm trying to take a shot here. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do a vlog. What's the matter with these people? animals. That's me finished. Time for me to go home now. Just a reminder that this place is called Stanage Edge. It's in the Peak District. It's uh, it's just outside a small village called Hathersedge. I think that's how it's pronounced. My car is down there. I've got to walk down, which is a lot easier than the walk up, believe me, hopefully, anyway. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time. It's been an amazing place. I recommend anyone who's in the area or even not in the area like I am, uh, come here, come here and take some shots. It's beautiful. Amazing, lovely, beautiful views. You know, I've been pretty much all on my own all day, um, except for the sheep and the midges who have just come out. So if you're going to come, come early before they wake up because they're little buggers. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please do. Always welcome. And thank you so much to everyone who's already subscribed. I think I'm on something like 36 subscribers. That is amazing. Uh, I really and truly, if I had one, I would that would make my day if just one person watched my vlog. So thanks ever so much to everyone who's watched. If you like it and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And from me, that's it. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>